Thanks, buddy. What up, Grand Slam Nation? Let's go, baby. Case 89, breaking angry. Let's go. Hey, man, a couple of things while I was, before I get started, I was thinking about uh, the Ginter thing and all that. Not necessarily just Ginter and trying to find a card and a box of cards for somebody to help change their life or maybe give them a shot at doing something. Um, uh, you know, you got to. Like, not everything is going to come in the time that you want it, man. You got to keep going. If you want something, stop. Your actions tell people what you really are about. A lot of people blow hot air. Not a lot of people will bust 89 cases or 150 cases or whatever it takes. There's plenty of times in this little process, any process, whether it's like build, like our card shop is a great example. Our card shop, you know, there was 20 years underneath the surface of all this work and dreams and grinding out and going and going to card shows, winning some, losing some, um, going forwards, going backwards. And when I first opened the store for the first year, year and a half, I could not get over the hump. The bank account would stay the same. The bank account would stay the same. I would work harder. The bank account would stay the same. And I would think to myself, man, if something goes wrong here, I'm done. If my best customer leaves, I'm done. And that was a bad way of thinking about things, but that's the way I thought. And my point is, is just because you feel like you're spinning your wheels now, if you're chasing something that you're passionate about and what you want to do with your life, there, there is no amount of work that you shouldn't put in to go get it. You, you're going to regret it if you don't. At the end of the day, you're going to want to know whether you were capable of reaching your dream. And if you want something, go out and get it. It's okay to talk about it. That's what motivates me. Me personally, I need external. I need external things to chase. I need an opponent. I need a rival. That's just the way it is for me. Or I, I get lazy. I'm not really. Uh, money doesn't motivate me, but uh, being able to uh, drag in someone's face who carried on a bunch of shit about you motivates me. But if there's somebody out there you're struggling and you're trying to get through it, man, take it from us. We've been there. We know what it's like. It's not just us blowing hot air. Don't give up, man. Don't give in. You keep plugging along. If it's in your heart and you've got that fire, you're going to make it, man. Keep fucking plugging, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Don't give up, man. I'm telling you, there's somebody out there, whether you start a lawn mowing business, whether you're a hairdresser, you know, people around you are going to mock you. People are going to ridicule you. The, the shadow riders are going to tell you you can't do something. That That's their purpose in life. And your purpose is to shut them the fuck up. So you know what? And when you do, it's a feeling you nobody can explain it. It's like trying to explain having a child to someone who doesn't have a child. You can't explain the feeling of what you would do for that kid. That's the same way I feel when somebody has carried on all that bullshit and you're able to just give them the old double middles. You know what I'm saying? All right. Uh, Big Nick, we have sold the Triple J. It's for an undisclosed amount. A dentist up north bought it and uh, is in the process of sending us the wire. Um, we rise and grind, baby. We don't just do what's on the show. Rise and grind. Make those calls. Let's go, baby. So Triple J. This is uh, John S., by the way. Uh, Hobart, Indiana, 51,825. I don't care if I'm gray fucking haired. If there's red if there's red inks out there and there's people willing to gamble and ride with me, we're going to ride until we hit this thing. And when we do... Yeah, it's going to be, you know what time it is. Everybody who spends their hard-earned money with us, we appreciate it. We know money doesn't grow on trees. We know this hobby uh, is not cheap. You have thousands of breakers online. 
and uh, you could choose whatever one you want, man. So when you choose us, I truly appreciate it. What's the deal with the Jordan, son? We just figured we'd invite the Nut Dragger to the Nut Dragon party. We just decided we would do what we do. Sometimes we don't. We we we've been we hide stuff back. You know, we put it away like a squirrel. You know, for products and things. We thought we'd let old Mike air out a little bit. There might be somebody out there want to drag some nuts, right, big rookie? Damn straight. Might want to drag some nuts. Rookie, have you been seeing those articles about vaping, bro? Damn straight I have. What you thinking about that, rookie? I think it's, uh, I actually went to the vape store just yesterday and people were, like, making their own juices and shit. Uh, all right, rookie, I'm going to let you live your life, man. I'm not going to be your damn... I'm not going to be a damn nag. You know what I'm saying? You do you, bro. I got enough of my own vices, but it would, uh, trust me, man. I did that shit for a long time, rookie. And yep. you're going. Shit ain't good. Yep, it is what it is. 51, 8, 2, 7. The search goes on, baby. Let's go. I have a $10,000 one that I think is it's a PSA 9. But to me, it's a PSA 9. It's a BGS 9.5 or a PSA 10 stuck in a 9 holder. It's the best Jordan I've ever owned as far as I'm concerned. It's the nicest 9 I've ever owned. It's 60-40 left to right. It's probably 55-45 top to bottom. Razor sharp. No print dots. The back is beautiful. It's the best card. So that one's got a pretty good premium on it. The least expensive I have at the moment is I have one six in stock. It's not even out here. What did I do with it? Oh, yeah, there it is. It is out there. The six is right here. That's the least expensive. I don't even know that they go up so much. That's a beautiful six, bro. This is going to be the iconic card that if there's ever a card to buy, that's it. I think this and the Jeter SP, I think the Jeter SP is another one. I still think that card in time is gonna be just so sick. They're not easy to find in decent grade either is what's so great about the Jeter. This is Al M, Tillman Tap. Tillman Tap and Eagle Claw. Where's my Eagle Claw? Hell yeah. Shit. Car salesman ain't selling Jordan rookies. I sell shit that appreciates, son. I'm like a fucking stock advisor, not a car salesman, right, Big Joe? Or right, Big Rook? Damn straight. I don't really know what the sixes sell for. I'd have to look. I got you, Big Anthony W. Appreciate the kind words. Yeah, we don't even have to sell Jordans. We just have, we hang on to those. We like them being like gremlins. At one time, we had 43 of them a year ago, about a little, a little over a year ago. Yeah, big Nick. Jordan rookies, Jordan rookies, Jordan rookies. They'll go up, they'll go down, but over time, they're going to go up. What's up? All right, here we go. Al M, 51,827. It would be nice for it to pop. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'd probably take 1,500. It's a beauty. Hell yeah, 440 pounds, damn. I'm gonna get back in shape, man, it's time. I've been fucking around the last couple months. It's time to go ahead and get, get serious, get back in shape. Pete Alonso. 51.827. In 
He said, rip it in when we get the rip card. Yeah, die do. Not good for the old blood pressure, kidneys, and all that, but Rosario. Rippy rip, big Al. Sorry, buddy. <sighs> Here we go. That's Al. Next up, there's Sean Barker. Six boxes. It's the world versus Sean B. Did he get it last time? He got it two times in a row again. Damn, boy. He's been sticking it up in there, too. He went, like, five out of six. Then he missed two or three in a row. Then he's hit two in a row. Here we go. Six boxes. Everybody knows the rules. Box one. Case 89, baby. Box one. We have a big show tonight. The gold mine grand finale, baby. Three golden tickets. Three golden tickets. Valued at $3,000 per ticket. There's a litany of nut dragon cars that are getting popped off tonight. It's already sold out, son. It's over. Gold mine's a wrap. Name another car shop that can sell 500 packs and have people waiting in line, son. Let's go. Nah, nah, nah. Let's go, baby. We ought to take that shit national, son. We ought to take that shit national. We drag some nuts. Right now, we're just going to do what we do. We're going to handle our customers. There we go. Come on, Red. It's your time. 32 people watching, boy. Ginter, boy. The ones watching this are savage. Now, Bowman Chrome Day is no, uh, September 18th, a week from today. Wish it was Bowman Chrome Day. Wish it was. It's the 18th, a week from today. Box one of six. Let's see what we got here, guys. I'm sorry to hear that, Joseph. It's a crazy thing about life. You can go through life not loving anybody and or loving anything and you won't get hurt, but at the end of the day, love's just worth it. That's just the bottom line from my experience. Go. 
Uh oh, rippy rip for Sean. We know what time it is. Hoffman. Immaculate Basketball, too, is another one that got pushed, I think. Ethelene, you'll have to Google that for me because I don't know. Me and Joe were looking the other day because I thought it was any time, and then it looked like they moved it, and I was like, what the heck? It's an extended. I'm building the extended set. Yeah, very sorry for your loss, buddy. Ichiro. Ichiro. I think I already have that one, but we'll check and see. Ichiro. Yeah, I don't really have much patience, Ethelene, to be honest with you, when it comes to Immaculate and NT. And they're right, Big Rook. Damn straight. The Rosario, all right. Got you, Big Al. Sean Barker's box two. Are we into box two? Yeah. Doesn't seem right. No, we're into box. This is box two right here. I'm gonna dig. Here we go. Box two. This is box two. Make sure I'm right. Put a pretty sick Jameis Winston in gold mine, Clint. Put a pretty sick Jameis Winston. You might want to reach out to whoever hits that sucker. I like it. Bring your lunch in today, Austin. No, I gotta order it. He's big time now. He got that money. He can order his lunch all the time, can he? We'll start ordering me a Lucas pizza and then just keep it here and take it home. You know what? I was thinking about that place last night or something. I was wondering, like, like the bar stool guy. How badass would it be to pay him to come down and do a pizza review on Lucas and hang out with him out front for a minute? If he was ever in town, that'd be badass. Pretty good. Yeah, he 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 could come in and rake the card shop. Wouldn't that be badass? Yeah. So if anybody knows him, let him know. We'd like to have a little advertising spot with him. Sitting at the beach must be nice, Big Clint. Must be nice to ball like that, right, Big right, Big Rook. Yeah. I want you to, whenever, are you done with what you're doing? Yeah. I want you to go over there in that area. Austin may help you, but that area over there, right by the bathroom, yeah. I want you to start straightening that up so we can start putting these Ginter cards and stuff. You know, like, okay. I want all that organized, and uh, I'd really rather that be like a whole area for cards gotcha. like that. Or we have cards back here and we have all the crap in that corner. It might be better to do that. Like find it, like see all those gold mine boxes? I say we pitch all those you know, like clean these shelves off. Yeah, like let's start cleaning some crap out. I guess if we have a full dumpster, you know. Yeah. We're going to have to call them. This is box two. Here we go. Does he have his own Ginter card? Are you serious? Barstool Sports guys? Hell yeah. What year is it? I always said it would be case 100. I always said the end of the story would be case 100.
We will see. We will see. It's more than that. It's over 200. 89. I, I figured it up the other day. It's it's 89 times 288 times 8. Yeah, we're over 205,000, Brian. Eight cards in a pack. Cunha. What's his name? What is his name? Dave what? David? Search goes on! Somebody could have $15,000. It's a lot of fucking money. It's a lot of fucking money, man. Go in the showcase up front. All right. That's a sum of them. How many you see on the screen? I see seven. Yeah. I see seven right there. Hey, old President Day. Did he have an autograph too? Yeah, yeah. After hours is savage as fuck, son. If you haven't joined Grand Slam After Hours, you may not have got invited. You may not have got accepted in because you a hacky motherfucker. But if you're not a hacky motherfucker, go join Grand Slam After Hours. There's a reason people be begging to get in there. Isn't that right, Rook? Damn straight. What we got here, buddy? Please tell me it's something good. Oh, some points. Let me see what else we got over there, Rook. Where'd you find that? Over there? Yeah. I know I've got a Nick Chubb camo auto over there. Nice little cards in there. Oh, good. Just pull them on out, rookie. Any cards you think that I should look at, I want you to put them in a box for me, okay? So, hey, man, take a look at these, Big Nate. Or if you want to take that on and see if, you, you know what, your skills are ready to go, I need you to pull out dollar call. I need you to pull out any names and stuff you think are good. Gotcha. Like we can put in the dollar box, and then I want, you know, obviously anything you think I need to look at, but start pulling out like the Aaron Rodgers and stuff like that. Gotcha. We're going to get this place whipped into shape, son. We've been running on idle for the last month. It's time to rev it up, baby. RPMs, full throttle, son. Here we come, Lake Boys. Sam Darnold camo, no auto. No, that's still a good car. Pull it out. I think I'm gonna get it graded. We have we have to get a hundred cards ready to be graded. So we're gonna start. We're gonna get a bunch of stuff graded. I do have a Nick Chubb camo. I remember. 
Ooh, too bad it's Mercer. Damn, man. Sean Barker. Man, Sean. Kind of a bummer, dude. Always be dragging. Never give up, never give in, baby. Let's go! Oh, the rip. No, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, there should have been a ninth. Maybe it's sitting in the comments. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. This is box four. Did he get an auto? No. So then them M43s are hard to come by, boy. Hard to come by. Here we go, baby, 15 dimes, let's go. 15 dimes. That auto brings a little bit of money. The search goes on. The search goes on. It's a good question, Sean, because I keep forgetting to, to pull them out. I can't decide. We even thought about putting three Jordans in there for slot one, two, and three, like three. You know, like a seven and two seven and a half, but I haven't done. I haven't decided. Um, Sean, give me after the show. I'll make it up and post it because that may sell out today. And then if it sells out today, we'll bust it tonight. If not, if it needs a couple spots, we'll bust it Friday. I'll, I'll show all twelve hits. I like showing all twelve on that one. Guerrero, seven or eight. We've hit probably seven. We've had two customers hit them, I think, out front. I know, uh, probably more like five or six. Oh, no, we ship everything out, buddy. You get all your cards. Yeah, there's plenty of people who get hundreds of dollars of cards that aren't the the big one. If they get a blue ink, it's twenty five hundred. We've hit four of those. We've given out ten thousand dollars in bounties. Let's go. Oh yeah, I've owned one. Yes. Yeah, Silvertown. Yep, it'll be Silvertown. We call I call that one Silvertown. I get confused. It's Nut Dragger's delight. Yeah, that was awesome, of Janice, to do that. Janice is awesome. 
We love TriStar and we love Jen. As a matter of fact, I got some TriStar jerseys in today. Just came out. We'll load those up today. No, Justin, they're sitting over there in the back, though. No, I did not. But they're sitting. It's three boxes, right? Ooh, Albies. Big Merc. Silvertown is going at gold mines already sold out. The, the two hundred and twenty nine dollar product is gone. Y'all are savage as hell. Isn't that right, Big Rook? I have not, buddy. They're sitting right back there, Justin. I will go through it, and we'll auction them, man. We need some help with auction items. You know what I'm saying? So we've, we've, we definitely have uh, donated quite a bit from the store, which we're glad to do it. But it, any any help is totally appreciated, right, Big Rook? They won't get football back for a long time. Maybe, maybe not in our lifetime. I think there's about eight years left on an agreement they have. And they may have already redone it. It's on tonight, man. It's on tonight. We got gold mine. We have the freaking gold mine lottery draft or the gold mine random. Who gets what? Some savage savagery going on tonight, boy. And then if Silvertown pops off, woo -wee! we're going old school tonight, baby. We're going old school. That's some that's some nut dragon shit. can have one if we can have your credit card and charge it for the retail value, right, Big Rook? Damn straight. Didn't we already, we already gave a Jordan rookie away for St. Jude Hospital, remember, Big Rook? Yeah, buddy. I'm telling y'all tonight, man, it's on tonight. $9.99 packs, boy. Woo! That's some nut draggers right there. Did he get the rip? Oh, I thought that was a rip. I was going to say, damn. Spectre football is going to be ridiculous, I think. That is going to be insane. Those Brady autos. Craziness. Craziness. Oh, Gary and him, his new bride, they got a divorce. Gone. 
Yeah, she's already back in Tanzania. Um, she had a uh, penchant for, um, how do I put it? Gary's neighbor. How about that? Just Gary's neighbor. So, uh, of course, Gary had to kill him. And uh, that's how that works. So, Gary's right now being interrogated, but... I mean, I mean, Gary attempt didn't do it. They're just accusing him of it. The guy ended up missing, and she's already on a boat back to Tanzania. So it didn't last long. He said, he said, this, how do I put it? He said the uh, the produce wasn't as fresh after it got back from Tanzania. Isn't that right, Big Rook? Exactly. He said sometimes a peach tastes best after the first bite of that fuzz, but after that. Yeah. You can get right into the core. Isn't that right, Big Rook? Damn straight. It is what it is. So she's it's over. They're getting an annulment. Ooh, we got one of the in bloom cards. Badass. Black. 12, 13, 14, 15. Are y'all going to be able to dodge the last bullet? I dug deep. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Box six. Everybody knows the rules. Oh yeah, he did. She she's already been trying to use his likeness and stuff on t-shirts over there. Yep, she's been trying to use his likeness on t-shirts. You know, Gary's Gary's a little upset, man, cuz I mean, he uh he felt like she trying to do him like that girl trying to do Antonio in that right big rug. Take advantage. Y'all done dodged the Barker bullet for once. Nate heard a story about you today from way back when you lived in Green Acres and an entire bag of fireworks blew up and it looked like a stampede with all the neighbors scattering. I don't even remember that, Chris. Somebody be, better, might be telling you stories. People coming out with some fake news about me as a kid. I don't. I mean, that may have happened. We used to have fucking wars and shit, dude. And, and 38344, son, it went down. Yeah, they are, but I, I haven't even tried to collect those. They're a pain in the ass. Yeah, you're right, though. How many in blooms are there? Like 25? You know how expensive that set would be? Don't Didn't you say those sell for like 25, 30 bucks? Yeah, that's what I got one of mine for. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be working on mine over a lifetime, fellas. Yeah, Tanzan. I know, man. They're always trying to fucking sell Fugazi diamonds and fucking uh, trying to use Gary's likeness and shit. Not pay him any of the fucking ru uh, rupees and shit. We're not talking about Zelda rupees. We're talking Tanzanian rupees. Isn't that right, Big Rook? Damn straight, man. I told him. I told him the first time she ever emailed him and asked for two, $200 U.S. to get her nails done. I said, the fuck kind of nail salon is there in Tanzania, Gary? Gary just said her boobies were so voluptuous he couldn't deny her. I mean, I'll give Gary one thing. He went all the way to the Tanzanian jungle to to uh, scratch his itch. Isn't that right, Rug? Man. Yep. Yep. It just, it's sad sad in a way, you know, when you know, when you, when you're a, a celebrity like Gary, sometimes people will try to take advantage of you and uh, try to profit off of your hard work, you know, Gary didn't get that rep by just being a, 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 a good guy in prison, he had, he, there was a lot of blood, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into that, it may not be his blood, sweat, and tears, but it, nonetheless, there were blood, sweat, and tears uh, shed for uh, his likeness. So I'm thinking that Gary probably is going to probably go over there. and There'll probably be some hell to pay. Gary's already talking about taking, he's been trying to buy some fucking goggles from the American government, those night goggle things. And he said he wants to get them by surprise. He said it's no fun in the light. He said this time he doesn't want him to know he's coming. He said something about watching Batman trilogy and he wants to go Batman on that ass over there and I was like, man, I'll support you. I'll tell everybody you were here. I'll tell everybody you were here. And he's like, okay. Uh, so 
So that's the deal. Gary's here. Gary is here right now, fellas. He's just in the back working on some cards. Come get some lunch. Man, you in Lexington, bro. You in Lexington. That's a three and a half hour ride. We need to do a remote satellite show from Malone's in Lexington. Be pretty boss. Here we go. Right before the Kentucky-Florida game. Look at little homeboy. Steo. Look at him. Little nut dragger. This is Sean's last box. Y'all done dodged the Sean bullet on this one. No, he doesn't have a private jet. Gary Charters. Gary Charter sometimes. Every once in a while, ODT will pick him up. Yeah, him and I, I didn't tell y'all about this. Gary was on The Apprentice, but he wore a uh, disguise. They wanted him. Actually, if y'all see the one where Gene Simmons was on it, that's actually Gary costume. They do it digitally and shit now, but Gary at that time was wanted in a couple countries, and him and DT became buddies. Savages hang out with savages, right, Rookie? Damn straight they do. Yeah, I mean, whether you're a Republican or whether you're a Democrat, you'd have to be a stone-cold dumb asshole to not think that that dude, good or bad, is a savage. One thing is for fucking sure, that man, whether, whether I agree with the fucking thing he says or not, is a fucking animal. Golly, he is an animal. But anyway, let's not even talk politics. I don't even like talking that shit. Politics are fucking dummies anyway. We don't even like politics, do we, rookie? Hell no. Politi politicians on both sides are nothing but sellouts. Here we go. There's you, Sean B. Okay, 18 packs. Everybody knows the rules. Everybody knows the rules. Give me two seconds, guys. Here we go, baby. These are the 18 packs for Al R. This is order number 51,847. Hell, it is an investment for his college fund. Yeah. Gary has his sights on a little Swedish girl. There's an extra Ginter card. Yeah, this right here is Al R. Yep. Said he wants to give her some of his strudel. Mm -hmm. He's been eating to fucking toaster strudels lately, so he's on a kick for the Swedes. He wants to give her some of them Swedish fish that he gets at the grocery store in the candy aisle. I was like, hell yeah. Whatever you want, Gary, we're here for you. Chris Bryant jersey.
Yeah, he likes hot chocolate too. He loves Swiss Miss chocolate. He just said all the stars were starting to align. See you tonight, Big Ed. Should be a wild night. Should be a wild one. Remember on Spectra too, guys, you can buy it by the pack. So you can spend like 99 or 109 or whatever it is and really hit a big lick on Friday with those Tom Brady Roman numeral. For some reason, he would never sign the Roman numerals for the Super Bowl MVP. So they've got a whole set of him doing it. So they'll bring thousands of dollars. Yeah, Gary did not die, or Gary's neighbor didn't die or anything. Gary's, uh, oh, you're talking about the one that, yeah, that one, they found him, oh, I didn't even tell y'all how he died. They found him, this is one box whisper, case 89 This is auto, nope. Um, they found him with a, you know, those, uh, like the, uh, pocket shovels, like when you go camping and shit, something or someone, more like something, they were thinking a human couldn't do it, but, yeah, uh, had jammed one down his throat and, you know, most people can't handle a shovel down their throat, so he died, he passed away. Um, it was a, a fortunate coincidence, but it was that's all it was, was just a coincidence. Whisper did not hit gold. Here we go. How many more do we have left? Three left. There's an auto. We're going to go ahead and get this. Are you already done sleeving? Sleeving them? Me? Yeah. No. This okay. Right here, yeah. There's only like three codes. Okay. I see what you're saying. Because we're going to be so busy tomorrow shipping. I'm going to... What time is it? 12.30? Yeah. Right now, we're trying to figure out four years of the same group. But trying to get rid of my sister. He's faking it. Uh, yeah, so he was, he left early yesterday, too. Was he at school today? Yeah. He gave it a go. Tell you something good. There's not a whole lot of good right now running through my veins. I'm just one day at a time. It just got to hit me right now. Maybe y'all could tell us something good, right, Rookie? Damn straight. Here we go. Here we go. Big time come. Big poppy. Whew. the Dodger Pastrana I 
a giant pumpkin. Oh yeah, Rookie, how about you just sing us a little jingle real quick? Packs and stacks. Packs and stacks. Packs and stacks. Gotta have me my packs and stacks. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back. Oh, he's here, you know. We like I said, we cover for him. He's here. He's uh Gary trying to break the Guinness Book of World Records. Kill two people on two different continents in 24 hours, and <laughs> we're wishing him well. Bend it up, car. That we did not do that. Yeah, we wish him well on his journey of sleeving cards in the back. Right, Big Joe. Right, Big Rook. Hell yeah. There's Whisper. I think Whisper has a golden ticket for tonight. Woo! That should be a family event. That was 51855. Big John Stewart. Big John Stewart in the hell six pack. Everybody knows the rule. Everybody knows the rules. We've been shelfing, though, uh, Donkey Seductive lately. You know. There's only so much of his likeness that we're going to share with the world, right, <laughs> Rookie? We're letting his vocal cords rest up. The Hispanic donkey calls have taken a toll. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit! Let's go, baby! It's Goldilocks time. Who got this? John Stewart. Could you use 15,000? Let me know. Let me know if you could use 15 dimes, because we're about ready to hand it to you if you hit the red ink. We're about to hand it to you if you hit the red ink. Why not now, baby? Case 89. Let's go. Fifty one eight seven three. Fallon. Let's go. Doesn't look like his is meant to be. He did get an auto though. Mullen. Hell yeah. Six packs, no dice. Gosh. Actually, I'm going to get them back because Sean bought so many of them. Three, six. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Here we go. Let's go, Stephen L. Let's go, Stephen L. Yo time, yo time. Uh-oh, we got us a Bill's Lasso card. Look at that. Pretty badass. There wasn't even a gold card in that entire pack. Another auto? Steve Lopez, probably an employee. 101. Who is that? Alex Bregman. One of one for Steven Lopez. Lasso. Pico. So out of six packs, he got the, the lasso and the one on one. Case 89. Down to 12 packs of luck. Let's see what we got. They are just for decoration. Gabriel S. Brooklyn, New York. I bet up in Brooklyn you could use 15 dimes. I bet in Brooklyn you could use 15 dimes. Let's go! Gabriel Stern, Post Malone, Miggy, down 
to our last six. It's going to be case 100. I called it. Remember, I said it. Case 100. There's a, that's Gabriel S. Next up is Paul F. Paul F. North Carolina. Let's roll. Hell yeah, Rudy. Pretty tasty. Let's go. Do I see two whiteys there? I thought that might be it. Hell yeah, Jordan wallpaper. Why not? Upper deck of poly Suez. Here we go. Let's go, nation. Let's go, Tatis. Pastrana. There's Vlad. That's a good card. The search is going to go on. 89 is in the books. Not not today, baby. The search is going to keep going, too. Paul left, Paul left, Paul left. Justin Tisdale, 51895. Make decorates. Woo -woo -woo. Let's go. don't win it Greg you pull a card the red ink of myself number to 10 and we'll buy it for $15,000 simple as that here we go Justin T 51895 with y'all put that motherfucker over our shoulder piazza much going on not much going on oh. Justin T Chris Gamble I got it wrong Chris Gamble six packs everybody knows the rules Case 89, we're 10 away. We're 10 away from finishing this thing. We gotta believe.
51, 896, Chris Gamble. Albies. Yeah, I don't even know if we've ever even hit a redemption in Ginter. Maybe one. Next up, Big Adam Stevenson. Big Adam Stevenson. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Six packs, everybody knows the rules. Stevenson. Five pounds out of the money. Wow. Five pounds out of the money. We need to have somebody that comes in and puts like a little bolt in. That, that's Adam. And I can kind of like slide it in there. There we go. Six packs. Al R. 51, 899. Stacy Hardy, the last order, fifty-one thousand nine one three, baby. No gold, no gold. It's been hit. Here we go. No, I need to make a list for that. Yep, gold mine tonight should be lit. What's up, Big Phil? Stacy Hardy, not having any luck. 51, 913. Oh, holy crap. Double rip. There goes our luck. Gehrig Mattingly. Yeah, that's so bad. Uh, number to 10, too. Woo-wee! Let's go! Way to go out on a bang. Wow. Double rip. All right, y'all. Went out with a pretty nice one. 
We have case 91 that's on the site, guys. 90's already sold out. Yeah, 90's already sold out, I think. If it's not, there's one or two left. All right, guys. Y'all have a great rest of the afternoon. We will be back this evening. Gold mine's popping off. We're also going to have Silvertown Nut Draggers Delight. We'll probably fill. If not, we'll do it Friday. It's already half gone. And I haven't even posted the Nut Dragon hits. Always be dragging. Deuces. Hey,